Yo everyone, this is Joele, aka Black Fabio, co-founder of Freedom Aids Ghana. I'm a designer, I'm an entrepreneur, philanthropist, and an engineer. Born in Tema, raised in Tema. What was the concept and idea behind In 2013, we were just taking pictures, actually. We didn't even have shirts. We, we called ourselves Freedom to take pictures of how beautiful Ghana is so that the outside world can see that. We wanted to show that true fashion. So we wear like clothes like Supreme, Babe, Black Scale, Rick Owens, Alexander Wang, Ralph Simons, and go stand at good places in Ghana to just take photos and tell the world that like, Ghana is also like beautiful. And people started liking our style. People were interested in our style. So we had to sell our stuff to the people. That's why we, we we came about with the free that you the first metric with only free that you hear. And even that time it wasn't for sale. Cause we we had our friends, Kosiata, Bifobona, Amare, Kofimole, who were wearing it. So as they were wearing, they also up, they were coming out by then. So the message on the shirt was like strong enough to let people get more interested in them. And as they grew, the brand also grew, you know. What would you say that the growth has been like? Oh, it's been amazing. We've done a lot to push the culture, the fashion culture, and we have like we've had, we have inspired a lot of people to also venture into it. We have our own website. We have a lot of international coverage now. A lot of purchases internationally, Japan, Australia, like everywhere. What's your dream collaboration? My dream collaboration is with Amazon and Google. I plan to like curate like an event for them or have like tech like tech and fashion show with them or like a pop-up where people can come and interchange tech and fashion. The last quarter of the year, 2019, we got a call from from Nike and Foot Locker to be a part of like a collab for the shops, the Nike shops. They chose only three crews around the world, Sao Paulo, London, and us in Ghana. They were actually in, interested in the story of Free the Youth. So we, we told our story through the shoes. We shot that campaign in November. It's a, like an eight month to a year contract. We're gonna have a pop-up here in Ghana. It's coming soon though. What other kind of collaborations have you guys done? Yeah, I did a collab with Sony Music for their first event in West Africa, daily paper, engineering sports for basketball jerseys, Global United Diaspora, Hana Hana Beauty, which is a cosmetic brand. We got featured in the Fada, Fada magazine. We are the first streetwear brand to also feature in Vogue magazine in Ghana, so. Which one did you create something that you look at and you're like, I'm proud of this particular thing so much? Yo, Nike, Nike, like that one was amazing. It's amazing. It's a good time for Ghana. Nike and I, I can mention Nike and Sony, Sony Music. What do you think the future for street fashion in Ghana is? I think street fashion is about to be a whole industry where people can express that they are touched through clothes. It's going to be a lucrative industry in Ghana where young people can like venture into it and make money out of it. Which people sort of inspire you to do what you do? Virgil is good, Ralph Simmons, the whole ASAP mob, Mark Jacobs, Rick Owens, I can name a few, Alexander Wang. What impact do you think fashion has on music in that? Yeah, I feel like it corresponds because like you can't be a musician with, without style because people are really interested in your looks and also your the frequency you bring out. So your looks will make them love you, your frequency will make them stick to you. So I feel like looks are always count in, in the music scene because like there are some artists which people don't love their music, but because of their style, people still mess with them, you know. If 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 you have like a fan base, they can't copy how you sing. They co only copy how you look, you know. I encourage the Ghanaian artists to venture more into it. What is the next thing, the next big thing for free? I would say this year is like most about tours and expanding our reach. We want everyone in the world to have access to our clothes. And also we are doing a lot of philanthropy stuff. It's an NGO too, Fidesz is also an NGO. So we're gonna organize workshops for kids to come learn creative art of their choice, which is for free and empowering the youth. So it's about empowerment and 
Global Rich. Hi everyone, this is Joe Willey, aka Black Fabio, co-founder of Freedom Youth Ghana. And this is my Emerges 2020 Colors Edition. You can visit coolpeace.com to check it out.